The UK is basking in a long overdue heat wave, daring people to believe the pandemic's nearly over. On June the 21st, the government plans to scrap all COVID restrictions in England, ready for a summer to remember. With the restrictions going down uh, in, in quite soon, I think it should be like normality coming quite, quite quickly. Definitely that mood has changed in the last few weeks and I think everybody is desperate for a bit of a break. But scientists are increasingly nervous. According to the latest data, the country's in the early stages of a third wave of infections, with the rate growing fastest amongst 10 to 14 year olds. It's very clear that we are in a public health crisis now, and right now cases and hospitalizations are increasing. We're seeing rapid spread with the more transmissible variant, um, while only about 38% of our population is fully vaccinated. And we need to really curb that early on so that we don't end up in the same situation. We were uh, several times so far, we've acted late, which has led to sort of lockdowns that have been very prolonged. On Sunday, the UK recorded 3,000 new coronavirus cases for the fifth day in a row. That's the highest figure since the start of April. The so-called Indian variant, thought to be much more virulent than other variants, is now dominant in several parts of the country. If the last 12 months have taught us anything, it's that waves can start small and quickly grow. Even with the country's successful vaccination programme, cases are doubling every week, providing opportunities for even more potentially harmful mutations. The government's now racing to get as many people as possible vaccinated, with 15,000 jabs administered at this rugby stadium on Monday alone. The government says there can be no room for complacency, but as yet there are no plans to delay next month's unlocking. Heat wave or third wave, a return to normality feels tantalisingly close, too close for any last-minute mistakes. Neve Barker, Al Jazeera, London.